nitrogen fluoride nitrogen chloride and phosphorus trichloride which one undergoes hydrolysis and which one doesn't this is today's lesson in this lesson we are going to learn the reason behind hydrolysis of these compounds so let's go to the detail the very first point is electronic configurations of nitrogen fluorine chlorine and phosphorus let's see the configurations of these elements first of all nitrogen atomic number 7 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p 3 in case of nitrogen second shell is its last shell second shell has two subshells s and p so nitrogen has no d orbitals now let's see electronic configuration of fluorine 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p 5 for fluorine as well second shell is its last shell so it has no d orbitals now let's see electronic configuration of chlorine 17 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p 6 in case of chlorine up to 2 p orbital 10 electrons have been arranged another seven electrons enter the third shell third shell contains three subshells s p and d now let's see about remaining seven electrons two electrons enter s orbital then remaining five electrons enter p orbital but it has another subshell which is 3d in case of chlorine 3d orbitals remain vacant here the important point is in case of chlorine there are d orbitals but vacant let's see electronic configuration of phosphorus phosphorus 15 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p 6 up to 2 p orbitals 10 electrons have been arranged remaining 5 electrons enters third level or third shell third shell contains three subshells 3s 3p 3d but phosphorus has remaining five electrons two electrons enter s orbital and another three electrons enter p orbital but d orbital remains vacant now let's summarize the electronic configuration of nitrogen fluorine chlorine and phosphorus nitrogen no d orbital fluorine no d orbital chlorine has vacant d orbital and phosphorus has vacant d orbital actually d orbital is responsible for hydrolysis reaction let's see the role of d orbital in hydrolysis reaction now the point is hydrolysis of nitrogen trichloride let's see the reaction first nitrogen trichloride reacts with water to form ammonia and 
hypochlorous acid this is hypochlorous acid now let's see the mechanism of this reaction this is nitrogen trichloride and this is water oxygen has two lone pairs of electrons here only one pair of electrons is shown suppose this is vacant d orbital of chlorine oxygen with its lone pair of electrons forms coordinate covalent bond with chlorine and as a result oxygen gets positively charged and chlorine gets negatively charged and nitrogen has one pair of electrons which is called lone pair of electrons to diminish this positivity this covalently bonded electrons move towards oxygen and as a result this hydrogen is freed as proton now this nitrogen with its lone pair of electrons forms coordinate covalent bond with this hydrogen or proton as a result nitrogen gets positively charged because here nitrogen acts as electron donor because of this positive charge this lone pair of electrons move towards nitrogen then the products are nitrogen chlorine chlorine hydrogen nitrogen chlorine chlorine hydrogen and hocl hypochlorous acid so nitrogen trichloride reacting with water forms this compound and hypochlorous acid similarly another two chlorine atoms are replaced by hydrogen and then ammonia is formed and two hypochlorous acid molecules are formed reacting with two molecules of water so nitrogen trichloride reacting with water forms ammonia and hypochlorous acid ammonia and hypochlorous acid so this is the hydrolysis of nitrogen trichloride now let's see hydrolysis of phosphorus trichloride now the point is hydrolysis of phosphorus trichloride first of all let's see the reaction of hydrolysis of phosphorus trichloride phosphorus trichloride reacting with water forms phosphorus acid and hydrochloric acid now let's see the mechanism of this hydrolysis reaction phosphorus chlorine 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 plus water we have learned that phosphorus has vacant d orbital suppose this is vacant d orbital oxygen forms coordinate covalent bond with its lone pair of electrons and as a result oxygen gets positively charged and phosphorus gets negatively charged now to diminish this positivity these electrons covalently bonded electrons move towards oxygen and this hydrogen is freed as proton again this chlorine with this covalently bonded electrons removes from this compound as chloride ion now let's write the products that is phosphorus chlorine chlorine then here oh and another compound is formed 
that is hydrochloric acid in the same manner this chlorine and this chlorine are replaced by OH group reacting with water two molecules of water then the compound is phosphorus OH OH here OH plus two molecules of hydrochloric acid this is actually H3PO3 H3PO3 phosphorus acid that is phosphorus trichloride reacting with water forms phosphorus acid and hydrochloric acid and phosphorus trichloride undergoes hydrolysis because of the presence of d orbital in case of phosphorus trichloride d orbital of phosphorus participate in hydrolysis but not d orbital of chlorine let's see the reason phosphorus chlorine 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 this is d orbital in this manner d orbital of phosphorus participates in hydrolysis reaction but not d orbital of chlorine because we know in the periodic table first phosphorus then sulfur then chlorine from left to right atomic sizes decrease like this so phosphorus is bigger in size than chlorine the bigger size of phosphorus helps bond to oxygen this is the reason oxygen forms coordinate covalent bond with phosphorus not chlorine phosphorus is comfortable to form coordinate covalent bond with the lone pair of electrons of oxygen now let's see hydrolysis of nitrogen trifluoride now the point is hydrolysis of nitrogen trifluoride let's see the matter nitrogen trifluoride water actually no reaction happens here because this is nitrogen fluorine 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 from electronic configuration of nitrogen and fluorine we learned that fluorine has no vacant d orbital at the same time nitrogen has no vacant d orbital that is why oxygen cannot get chance to form coordinate covalent bond with fluorine and with nitrogen that is why no reaction happens that is nitrogen trifluoride doesn't undergo hydrolysis but nitrogen trichloride and phosphorus trichloride undergo hydrolysis reaction this is all about hydrolysis of nitrogen trifluoride nitrogen trichloride and phosphorus trichloride number today thank you very much